take a look at the, oh, actually this is in Chardon, take a look at the street lights there, mm -hmm. just waving in these strong winds. Look at the so, snow and the lights. Yes. Just. I mean, you can see just how blustery it is and you can see how the roads are, but we're going to be taking you through all of the conditions and we want to thank you for starting your very blustery Friday with us. I'm Maureen Kyle with Betsy Kling and Peyton Domsky. Over 5,000 First Energy customers are without power in Ohio right now. And we know, as we've been talking about, those winds are going to pick up. We're going to see a lot more of that as we go throughout the day. And really what's most important is all of these conditions can lead to very risky uh, dangers. You know, you don't want to be out on the roads if you don't have to. You know, if we lose heat and power, then that can lead to some issues too. There's there's a lot going on with yeah. this for sure. And the power outages are a big deal. I think a lot of people are still asleep. Mm -hmm. They didn't have to set an alarm today. They don't even know their power has gone out. Right. <laughs> so when they wake up, all of a sudden they're going to be like, whoa, we don't have any power. And they make the call and then we see the numbers jump. Here's the latest. I just pulled these off the first energy uh, listing. Look at Summit County. We're now up to 1,900 plus, 1,100 plus in Erie County. Still hanging at 242 in Cuyahoga County, but remember these are first energy numbers, not Cleveland Public Power numbers. Uh, Geauga County at 323, and again, oh, Lorraine is in here at 157. <laughs> that 81 is for Richland County, so Lorraine County now starting to see some of those uh, numbers. Ma Maureen asked about the, you know, is it a warning, is it a watch? We are under a multitude of different types of warnings. Winds, uh, winter storm warnings and wind chill warnings. Uh, here's the bottom line. It's cold, it's windy, and it's going to snow. That's all you need to know. That is active now and it will continue to be. Erie County is under a level three snow emergency. That means county roads are closed. The county is closed. If you are out on the roads, you could be ticketed. Now the turnpike runs right through here. And as far as I can tell from looking at the turnpike's webpage, the turnpike is still technically open and the turnpike is a different entity, but it's kind of telling as to what the conditions are like there. Also, Richland County is under level one snow emergency. That means the roads are just awful. Uh, so it's just a caution for driving. But 71 goes through there, and 71 is a hot mess right now from uh, Medina all the way down to Columbus. There is a lot of traffic that is going very slow. Look at the orange throughout Northeast Ohio. And I think a lot of our problems right now are because of this dark blue band. That's a squall that is moving through. And that heavy batch of snow just continues to slowly but surely migrate its way to the north. So we're gonna start to see some big impacts on 76 east of Akron. We're gonna see some big impacts on 480 and over to 80 uh, east of 77 and then climbing up 271 as well. This is Medina right now in that squall. That's not great, and this is going to do nothing but make the, words, uh, the roads worse. Meanwhile, over in Dover and New Philadelphia, this is 77 at 250. They just had that squall go through, but the visibilities have been reduced already all morning. We'll continue to see this today as the day goes on because we continue to have these winds. The winds are actually going to be picking up as we move through the afternoon. Our storm system is strengthening, and that's where Peyton picks up the yeah. forecast. And the storm system is going to reach some of its strongest parts of uh, its life cycle, so to speak, as we head through this afternoon, early evening, and that's why these power outages are going to get so serious. And it's crucial as you head through this holiday weekend is because our winds haven't hit their top notch just yet. This morning, some of our wind gusts are right around 40 or so miles per hour. They're going to intensify. We'll be closer to about 50 miles per hour when it comes to gusts. That's the number you're seeing in yellow on your screen. From Sandusky to Elyria, even around downtown Cleveland, out to Ravenna too, by midday. Everywhere from the lakeshore to farther inland is going to experience gusty conditions. 40 to 60 mile per hour wind gusts likely as we head through this afternoon, through this evening, even into tomorrow morning. There will be a little kind of pushback from uh, the wind. They'll die down ever so slightly. And when I say die down, I'm saying die down from maybe the mid 50s of gusts to then the mid 40s around 40 mile per hour wind gusts. So not a crazy uh, all chill down situation when it comes to where our winds will be headed, but we are also going to be chilling too. Our wind chill factor, it is just starting to settle on in. That Arctic front swept on through already. 
It's what is now being ushered in behind. We are in for a polar plunge. Our temperatures are already feeling mighty cold this morning, but we're going to continue on top of those winds picking on up. We will feel about 20 to 30, 35 degrees below zero when it comes to the wind chill. That's how it feels to you outside. That is very important when it comes to letting pets out today. It's important to you too. So if you do happen to be one of those individuals that loses power, we do have a list of warming centers on WKYC.com. Our eye alerts are also running at the bottom of your screen. You can pay attention to those as well. Stay indoors if possible. Don't venture out. Today is not one of those days to go check out the elements. It's really not. Keep an eye on the pets I already mentioned. Keep an eye on the kids. Check in on the neighbor down the street. It is the most wonderful time of the year. And it's the most wonderful time to be a wonderful North, Northeast Ohioan too, to just be a good human on a day like today and a weekend like we're going to experience. Roadways will worsen, power outages. I can't push this home enough. And those temperatures, Maureen, continuing to climb in uh, the wrong direction. Yeah, safety is the priority today when it comes to pretty much everyone. Pets, people, everyone needs to just stay inside, do what they can to stay safe. Peyton, thank you so much. And we are gonna actually send things outside to Austin, who, he pulled the short stick today. He's been watching the rain change over to snow in downtown Cleveland. I don't know who you made mad at the station over the past year, but Austin, you, yeah. get, to, you get to be the guy outside with the hat on, which we're very proud of you for that. A absolutely you know a lot of people have been tweeting you know just like you know it's cold if i'm wearing a hat i think we need to maybe change a, a weather scale to austin love wearing a hat cold but you know i just have to laugh to myself right now we're all preaching stay inside stay inside stay inside except for austin everyone else stay inside but you know we're having a nice time out here in garfield heights laughing before we start crying because the conditions out here absolutely brutal we got the trifecta going we got the snow we got the cold we got the wind and the wind is really the story here this this morning about 40 mile an hour winds right now with gusts expected to even get more than that but it is continuing to push that snow of what we're seeing taking a live look right now at 480 right off of transportation boulevard traffic going at a decent speed right now but you're going to be experiencing a lot of things if you are on the road here this morning you're going to be dealing with the wind bushing you around you're also going to be dealing with that snow and also that ice and speaking of ice we're going to be checking in right here. I think it's safe to say, Mo, we got a frozen beer here. This is a frozen Miller Lite about an hour and a half. I think it definitely took about an hour for it to completely freeze. Now I'm going to say that this is just frozen solid forever. A complete solid beer of which we're seeing. Yeah. Man, what a time to be. I know a lot of people, they get the, you know, they, they heat up the water, they throw it, they freeze the t-shirts. How boring is that? We're freezing beers out here. Info you can use. WKYC power, baby. It's a beer sickle for sure. And if you, and it has nothing to do with the bad pour that you started out with at 4.30 or 5 a.m. So, okay, okay, yeah. yeah. You, you, you and nice element in that cushy <laughs> studio there, Maureen. I'm out here pouring beers, all right? I know. You know what? You're, do, you're, you're doing a great job out there, Austin. Stay inside. Go get inside. Go get warm. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right. Well, we also have power outages, which are a big concern with this storm. First Energy has contractors on hand and ready to assist utility crews for all of you that do lose power because that could affect your heat. That's a big concern. Meanwhile, firefighters are warning residents to stay warm, but also be safe. They say remember to use layers to warm up. Never use an open flame to warm your home and also be cautious when it comes to space heaters. It's also important for residents to keep their doors and windows closed to keep the heat inside. Well, many of you have plans to travel for the holiday weekend, but if you're flying out of Cleveland Hopkins, be sure to double check that flight before heading out. As of right now, flight tracking website FlightAware is already reporting 139 cancellations at Hopkins alone. There are over 5,000 reported across the country. So again, make sure to check on your flight before heading out the door. I'm going to guess that it is either canceled or at least delayed, double check. We will have continuing coverage of this storm throughout the morning, live on the air. You can get constant updates on WKYC.com, also on the 3 News app. You can also stream us live on WKYC+. We have more news and weather coming up.
Welcome back here at 643. This is a live look right now at downtown Cleveland. And just take a look around the streetlights. You can see just how blustery it is this morning with that blowing and drifting snow. It is not just about the snow. It is about the wind chills that we're seeing out downtown. So if you're headed out downtown this morning to maybe go to work, you're going to want to layer up. You're going to want to be careful and also check with your employer to see if your business is still open today because we are going to see those temperatures drop, the conditions worsen. We're going to have your full forecast in just a minute. But we want to also get to your national headlines here in go time that we are following. And we start with this this. We start with uh, the January 6th committee, which has unveiled its formal report Thursday. After an 18-month investigation into former President Donald Trump, the report is said to be approximately eight chapters with more than 800 pages. The committee's case against Trump will be a large part of the report, but it's also likely additional information on law enforcement's preparedness and response that will be included. Congress is another step closer to fully funding the government. The Senate passed a $1.7 trillion government funding bill on Thursday. The bill now heads to the House, where it's expected to pass before tonight's midnight deadline. The sweeping legislation will keep the government funded through next fall. When it gets through the House, President Biden is expected to sign it into law. Sam Bankman-Fried has been released on $250 million bail. The former FTX CEO appeared in court Thursday following his winter storm, which is just hitting at just an unfortunate time, Betsy, because a lot of people wanted to get out on the roads today, maybe head to mom and dad's, grandma and grandpa's. Now we're a little bit stuck. We are, and, and conditions are going to deteriorate through the afternoon. What you see is what you get. The good news is we're going to start to back off the snow. The bad news is the wind speeds are going to be picking up, and these numbers are going to be going up as well. These are the absolute latest on our first energy power outages. Look at Summit County now over 2,000, over 1,100 in Erie County. Cuyahoga County still holding in the uh, mid-200s, so 269 right now. Geauga County up to 517. Lorraine County County still at 157 in Huron County uh, at 222, the triple two out there. Reminder that Erie County is under a level three snow emergency. The turnpike, as far as we can tell, is still open, although it looks like there are some uh, lanes that are blocked. Not sure what that is. That was the latest report in one of our traffic maps. We'll inquire on that. But the turnpike does run through here. But Every other road is technically closed in the county, so it's emergency traffic only. You can be ticketed if you are out on the roads. Richland County and now Holmes County is in a level one snow emergency. This just basically means we have awful conditions on the roads, so please use caution when driving. Look at this. I mean, it's lit up like a Christmas tree. Very apropos, right? And I mentioned that uh, little spot on I-80, and that's what this little... Uh, cone here is. Let's uh, see what we've got. So there's a hazard. I-80 westbound road blocked from exit 140 to exit 135. I'm not quite sure what that is about. Remember the uh, turnpike is a private entity now, but uh, that is not good. So the turnpike closed uh, apparently westbound. If those lanes are blocked, we'll work on uh, confirming that right now. Uh, but certainly we have some pretty nasty conditions. Meanwhile, we've been watching this strip of heavy snow as it's been moving from southwest to northeast. It is now coming into the west side of Cleveland, uh, down into Berea, the airport, also down into portion, portions of Richfield, and then you move right down into Summit County. So Cuyahoga Falls, Stowe, Kent, Ravenna, even down into the Alliance area in Stark County. Look at there, we got a new accident that just popped up as well on 90. That's likely a dead man's curve. This is a live look now on the ODOT cams at Akron at Arlington Road, just south of downtown Akron. And you can see snow-covered roads. ODOT promised they would keep things 
passable. And technically, I guess we could still see the lanes there, but the problem is there is ice underneath that snow. And with the blowing snow, it's not going to be going anywhere. This is near Hopkins right now. I mentioned that little band of snow that's moving through. This is extremely reduced visibilities. And there's the latest on the visibilities. We have visibilities that have been less than a mile for most of the morning. That is not going to change as we head through the rest of the afternoon. I did mention those wind speeds coming up. The power outages are a big concern because of the frigid temperatures that have moved in, Peyton. Yeah, it's currently negative one in Mansfield as a air temperature. And this is 8 a.m. I've zoomed you ahead in your National Zimmer hour by hour forecast. Mansfield will drop down to negative four, but their feels like condition also going to continue to drop in the next couple of hours and then through the day with the winds in tandem to everything else that's going on, it's going to feel close to negative 30 outside. These wind chill factors are extremely dangerous as we take you through today. That is going to be very treacherous on top of everything when it comes to the potential of powder hour power outages stacking on up throughout your Friday and then leading you into Saturday. That pink temperature, watch it as we go through time here on your screen. It doesn't waver much. The one thing that does switch its position is going to be where the snow is coming down. It's going to drift a little bit farther to the north. This area of low pressure is back off to our north, in fact. And as it swirls around and continues to intensify, we'll see the progression of our snow really take aim at the primary snow belt. So they're expected to see the higher totals, but what's going to stay consistent for everyone is the cold. Everyone will feel close to zero degrees when it comes to 5 p.m. tonight, if not sub-zero. It is possible, and we are only going to stay down right along that point all the way through tomorrow morning. Lake effect snow will continue as we head through tomorrow morning, through your Saturday, and that is going to lead to also a hazard for your Christmas Eve. If you plan to travel tomorrow, there will still be drifting and blowing snow. Conditions will still be plenty cold, and I know we are going to have a white Christmas. You know at this point we're going to have a white Christmas too, but you didn't ask for everything else, and that's the problem with this storm system. It's not about the snow. It's not about the totals of snow. It's about the wind and it's about the cold. Those take precedent in this storm system. These totals are not very impressive as they take you through Sunday. Yes, 8 to 12 inches is an impressive number for parts of Lake and Ashtabula County, but they've done that before. They have and they will again. It's the fact that it is so cold that this snow is not the kind that you would send kids to play out in. And it's not the weekend either to even have the idea of staying outside longer than you even have to if you have to go outside at that. I advise you to stay in. Your Christmas weekend outlook, because of course Christmas Eve is already tomorrow. Nine degrees is going to be our high temperature. Blustery conditions will continue. That lake effect snow lingers into the potentially Sunday morning. We'll eventually start to see a little sunshine and that's basically recovery day for us leading you into your Monday. The winds will start to die on down through Union Home Mortgage Extended Forecast. We're back in the 20s, the 20s by Monday, and that's still below normal for this time of the year by about 20 degrees or so too, Maureen. And then, hey, 40 degrees by um, Thursday. I think everyone's looking forward to Christmas, but I think more than that, we're looking forward to temperatures above freezing. Right. At least we don't stick here for a long term, you know, a couple weeks or whatever. Correct. That will come later in the winter. Peyton, Probably. thank you so much. Well, you want to avoid taking the dogs outside today, but we do have a special dog on weather for you today. Take a look. This is Stryker, Ruby and Sam visiting with the man in red, Santa. They live down in Mansfield. They watch Go every morning while mom gets ready to work, ready for work. So we want to say thank you to Rebecca for sending in this picture. They are adorable, and we hope that they ended up on the nice list this year. We will be back with your news to go.
Oh. Yeah, hey, good morning to you, Maureen. Welcome to the Austin Love Freeze Fest. I haven't completely frozen salad yet, so that's good news here. You know, we were talking about uh, earlier that we, we were, oh, we wish for a white Christmas, wish for a white Christmas. Well, you got it. Be careful what you wish for here, ladies and gentlemen. We got 40 mile an hour winds, below zero temperatures. It's absolutely brutal. Here's a live look at 480. Moving slow, stay inside if at all possible. Back to you. Yeah, you can really tell that the winds picked up just from when we've seen him this morning. And this storm is only going to get worse for much of the country. Coming up next on the Today Show, we have live reports from Chicago, Texas, and Massachusetts as the weather causes travel chaos with thousands of flights canceled ahead of the holiday weekend. So Betsy, what is it looking like at this point for us? Well, we have breaking news. We have Huron County that is now under a level three snow emergency. So that's Erie and Huron counties, a level three snow emergency. That means the roads are closed and only emergency traffic is allowed. You will be ticketed if you are out and about. Richland and Holmes County have a level one snow emergency. Basically, your heads up that roads are bad. The turnpike is blocked in Lorain County by a jackknife semi. All three lanes uh, westbound in uh, Lorain County are blocked, so they have basically closed it till they can get that thing moved. But you can see the snow that is coming through. We have numerous accidents, slide off spin outs that have taken place. Uh, too many to even list on there, but you get the gist. That snow is going to continue. Rest of the day, the story is the wind because the wind gusts are going to be coming up and the cold because the wind chills are going to be going down. The good news out of all this, we will see the snow becoming more scattered, mm -hmm. but the bad news is the wind is just gonna keep blowing it around. Yeah, and of course, if you need this information, Betsy, Peyton, they are updating WKYC.com, updating the app. Make sure you have the three news app because we are gonna be pushing out all of this information as we go throughout the morning. Most of all, if you can, stay home, stay safe, stay warm. We leave you with a live look at downtown Cleveland. As you can see, the blustery conditions. Have a great Friday. Thank you for watching 3 News. Rewatch stories and watch original content. Subscribe to the WKYC YouTube channel.